Welcome to this series. We're going to be talking about automation anywhere. Let's start with the labs. So let's learn with an example. So guys, practice with me. So how do we do it? So first thing, let's create a very basic process. So what is the most basic process that you have uh, seen in your life? That's nothing but hello world. It's the most basic display, right? Let's start with that. Then we can understand. So to do that thing, we need to do, we need to create a new task. So what exactly is a task? Task is like a process or you call it as a mapping, whatever you want to call, you can call it right? But that's the main thing. I mean, that's the program. You can say that's the program. So we're going to be creating it. Are we going to code uh, like Java, Python, um, Python, Java? Uh, snake <laughs> there are a lot of programming languages i uh, don't want to go into that but um, i'm not scaring you don't worry uh, in this thing automation anyway we are not going to program because that's not what this tool is for anyway let's start so just create a new task so new click on uh, new then uh, go with task editor right you will see another window will be open so that's why it takes some time now to implement this particular uh, hello world what we need to do is just drag this message box here right and whatever message you want to display so hello hello world so hello world right and you can see some options i think you can just play around and learn so i don't need to guide i think save it so it's done save it so how to run this thing just uh, name the file um hello world right just save it uh, so it's done right simple how do i run it just click on this and say run quite simple right so it ran it now you can see the output hello world okay so it is very very simple now see this is the detail of the task now if you go here you can also see this task in the list and this is the listing of all your tasks right that whatever it is there and uh, you can see a lot of stuff like type uh, repeat status um, uh, right you can guess some uh, of this thing and some of this thing are new for you don't worry i am not um, I'm, i am not going through all this theoretical stuff but very quickly in 30 40 seconds i'll just uh, go through some of the most important properties like um, for example important one is uh, for queuing so when you're queuing uh, queuing means when uh, in the control room when we run the jobs so you have to prioritize your jobs so which one is high priority low priority right so that you can change it here then the log you can see last runtime create day uh, created date right stuff like that name of the file uh, uh, security timeout right so some of this stuff you can see here no need to worry about this right so that was the uh, that's what that was about this uh, most basic task now in the next session we'll, we will talk about how to schedule this then we will see the triggers then we will move on to the advanced task how to create advanced tasks using different uh, uh, commands that we have right thanks that's it guys thank you very much so thank you very much